we'll get to a featherweight matchup between Jose Aldo and Conor McGregor. So here is Conor McGregor making the walk once again, the only simultaneous two-division champion in UFC history, and really a guy who has taken the sport by storm. His win over Jose Aldo, Nate Diaz, most recently Eddie Alvarez. Remarkable what McGregor has accomplished in a short time in the UFC. Conor McGregor is one of the most creative and dynamic fighters in the UFC's featherweight division. He is also one of the most loved fighters to ever come out of Ireland. Folks, the proud Brazilian Jose Aldo Jr., still the man who many believe is the greatest featherweight of all time. For 10 years, he went undefeated, and with style points every step of the way, Jose Aldo Jr., dynamic in every realm of mixed martial arts, grappling, striking, and making the walk once again here tonight. Jose Aldo is one of the most explosive and dynamic fighters in the UFC. His leg kicks are second to none, and he has the ability to finish a fight in a fraction of a second. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. McGregor is 29. Aldo is 31. McGregor will have a four-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the O2 Arena in London, England. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer. Only a professional record of 21 wins, four losses. He stands by the inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, only a professional record of 27 wins, four losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the former UFC veteran champion of the world, Jose Aldo Jr. All right, you've been through the losing locker room. I want you to be my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. A nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to the corners. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. You ready? You ready? Well, here we are inside the famed O2 Arena in London, England. Good to have you with us as we get underway. Well, how about the buzz in this arena as the notorious Conor McGregor makes his return to mixed martial arts competition here tonight. The question is, Joe, how will he start? Will he feel things out a little bit early and try to get his feet under him, or will he just try to find a home for that patented left hand? We shall see. 
Well, he ate a pretty big head kick there, Joe, and he's got to be careful moving forward, moving into striking range, leaving that head wide open. I know his corner looks frustrated. Let's see if this team can make the requisite adjustments. there. Tagged him. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Aldo gets tagged by that stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. Three minutes remain in the round. Good solid straight line. Oh! Straight right hand, no good. Oh, beautiful straight left hand. That one hurt. Dropping down, looking for a single. Oh, he gets the single leg takedown. Into full guard. Back to half guard. Good control here. Ninety seconds to go in round one. And busy as he looks to improve position here. And he's up. He's trying to establish that jab once again. Looking for that left hand, not there. Well, you're playing with fire there. He left the body wide open there, and he has shown an increased vulnerability to that strike, Joe, by leaning in, almost moving into the strike to set up his own offense. We'll see if he lowers that guard, lowers those elbows to prevent further damage. Some of the best kicks in the game that you'll see right there. Oh, uppercut to the dome. The horn sounds for the end of round one. And there is the horn. Confidence has to be high after that round. Really good round there from Conor McGregor. Huge knockdown and a big moment in that round. Let's take a look at that again. And let's see that from another angle. The beautiful Jenny Andrade getting us going. Yeah, yeah. Round two is underway. At the end of that round, his opponent was clearly hurt. He's going to look to start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. Conor McGregor has a very unpredictable striking style. Throws a lot of wild kicks. Has to oh, attack him! He's got to be careful here. He's clearly in trouble. Big body shot, shot to the body. fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Aldo. Reversal and into full guard. He does have full guard here, which is still dangerous. Oh, postures up and now goes with the big strike to the body. Well done there by Aldo. Right hand forward now, switching to southpaw. 
Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round, no denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. How about that shin? Aldo gets hit with a kick. He appears largely unfazed, but he doesn't want to take too many more of those, Joe. Under two minutes to go in the round. Hit him with the Superman punch. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid combinations, and that has served to keep... Whoa! Oh, he dropped him! He's out! Gigantic hook that got him the win. Yeah, Joe, I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. Let's take a look at that from a different camera. Take a look at this from a different angle. Boom! And then he's out. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. We set it inside the Ladies octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official the decision. At three minutes, 36 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, the no Well, what a legacy it has been for the two-division UFC champion Conor McGregor, and he only adds to it here tonight as he gets his hand raised yet again. Doubt this man at your own peril, ladies and gentlemen. It seems like every time the doubters get on board, Conor finds a way to mute them all.